Hi, welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to autofill form fields using Excel files. So follow me to my desktop right now. Okay, let's start by using this example so you can see what we can do. Let's input a unique code inside of the widget. So we're going to put the unique code number three, for example, and we're, uh, we're going to auto complete fields. Now you can see it auto filled the information down here. And this is really useful if you want to save time, because when you know what the variable is here for the code, then it's easy to input some of the fields or all the fields. Now let's go ahead and make one of these. So let's go into an empty form right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in the widget. So let's go into the add form element, go to widgets, search for spreadsheet, select spreadsheet to form. We're going to drag it inside. And this is where we're going to input our Excel file. But first let's add some elements inside. So let's add the full name. Let's add, for example, a short text and the email address. Okay. These are the names of these fields. So we're going to change this one that says type of question and we're going to put age. Let's just say we're going to ask for the age and the variable. And now we're going to work with our Excel sheet. So let's jump over to our sheet and let's input the fields right here that we're going to be using. First thing we're going to add is the unique code. And the next field is going to be the variable that we have next. So for example, here we have the name, which is next. It's really important that we type in the exact name, including capital letters. So this one is called name. Next one is called age. The next one is called email. And let's pre-populate this for this use in case purpose. We're going to say unique code is number one, two, and three. You can name it whatever you like, whatever makes it easier for you. Now for the name, we're going to say one name, I'm going to say John Doe. And let's see, Tom Thomas. All right. With H Tom Thomas. All right. And for the age, well, this guy is 37, this guy is 22 and this guy is 56 years old and their email. We're just going to put random emails right here. Okay. We're going to say test at two and let's make this last one number three. Okay. This is our Excel sheet. So let's download it. In this case, we're going to download. I'm going to call it jot form. We're going to save it to our desktop. Let's go back to our form right here and let's click on the widget. We're going to edit this met widget setting and we're going to upload the file. We're going to select jot form open. And if you need to set any of these variables, for example, the access code column, which is a labels row is one. And if you want to change the messages right here, that's also available. Okay. Let's update the widget. Let's go ahead and preview this form. Okay. And we're going to input one of the unique codes that we added. For example, we have one, two, and one, two, and three. Okay. So let's select number two and we'll auto complete this field. See how it automatically filled the information. We have the name from number two. So it's John Doe age 22. And that's the email. Let's go into our sheet. Number two is John Doe. He's 22 and that's the email. Now, if we input the code number one, it changes. So this is Jorge Aguilar and he's 37 and this is the email. And that is how you use the autofill form widget on JotForm. Thank you for watching.